السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين حياكم الله وباعكم يا أهل كتاب الله وأهل رسولة رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم We need to invest in our deen We need to invest in our آخرة And what do I mean by that? What I mean by that الله يبارك فيكم is Seeking beneficial knowledge. Al-Munafi'ah. al We are in need of beneficial knowledge. We are in need, our children are in need. The future, the community, the world needs us to have knowledge. Because we were created for the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَمَا خَلَقَتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنزَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ I have not created the jinn of mankind except to worship me alone. So how can we worship Allah? Tabarak wa ta'ala without knowledge. Therefore, it is a commandment that we seek beneficial knowledge. At Talib al Infarida ala kulli Muslim and Muslima. And we're not going to go into all of the narrations in regards to seeking knowledge and the status. However, we know that. I just want to really give you a practical scenario as Muslims, how we are in need, dire, critical need of beneficial knowledge. Why is it that we can't take a portion of our life to go study? Why is it that we have so many excuses? That we cannot leave our homes, our good jobs, our nice cars, to go overseas for six months, one year, two years, five years to study. To study. Perhaps you can't go overseas for five years. Labats, no problem. However, what's stopping you from going for, for, going for the summertime? You know nothing of your deen. What's stopping you from going to Egypt? For yani, Ramadan, so you can at least learn the huruf, the Arabic alphabet, so you can read the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Perhaps you're not going to get to the level of an alim or of a talib al ilm. However, what's stopping you from knowing the basics of your deen? What's stopping you from wrapping up your children and your wife, going overseas for six months, going overseas for a year, and saying to your family, khalas, this year, to the children, I'm take, you're going to take a break from school. We're going overseas and I'm going to enroll you and myself and my wife in an Arabic program. So that we can understand the language of the Quran al -Kirim. Understand the language of the Prophet ﷺ and his Ashab al-Kiram and his noble companions. What is stopping people, Hayakum Allah, from doing this? It is laziness. Bilashak. It is laziness. And it is fear of the mustaqbal. It is fear of the future and of the ghayb and of the unknown people have so many excuses khalas take your children take your wife and go overseas go to egypt and say we're going to stay here until everybody memorizes method and yani for example two juices of the quran after we memorize two juices of the quran all of us then we're going to go back home or yeah and if you have more time and you have your more serious khalas we're going to go here and we're staying until we graduate from the markaz we're going to stay here until we graduate from the Arabic program. Imagine that. Imagine a family from America. A normal family. They're Muslim people, good people. They don't, know, they don't really know about the deen. They gather up their children. They save up some money. They get their income tax. And instead of buying a 4K TV, instead of buying a motorcycle, instead of splurging at the mall, and they take that money and they go overseas, Wallahi, ya ikhwa, $10,000 can last you a couple years in Egypt with a family. A couple years in Egypt with a family, you know, and that's, you know, with 10,000, even less than that is fine. So what, um, how amazing would it be for a, for a family? Yeah, they are normal families here walking down the street. They're good Muslims. They, 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 they pray, they're religious, but they don't know about the deen. They don't really, they can't speak the Arabic language. They don't know the Quran and Kareem. And then they go overseas. And then they go hard for two years. They make a commitment that I'm staying here until I graduate from this markaz. And so I can open up the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and understand that which is that within. And so I can open up the Qutb al-Sitta, the books like Sahih Bukhari, Riyadh al-Salihin, At-Tirmidhi, Al-Nisa'i, wa ghayra that, yani Riyadh al-Salihin, books of Ahadith, books of Fiqh, books of Ilm. And I can understand it. Imagine a family when they come back, yani speaking Arabic to each other in the house. Yani the father speaking to his children. The children were speaking to the, to the parents in a Lugh Arabiya. Meanwhile, as you're still sitting there, you haven't changed. Your neighbor, they go overseas. They come back, mashallah, speaking the Arabic language. They have memorized much of the Quran. But what are you doing? You're still sitting there. 
Two years has flew by. One year has flew by. Six months have flew by and you didn't accomplish with O'Shea anything. This is due to laziness and this is due to tesuif. This is due to, per, to procrastination. This is due to procrastination. We need to invest in our deen. And by doing that, we will be investing in our akhirah, in our afterlife. This is, a, yani we will die. We will stand, stand in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we need to know how to worship Him. We need to know how to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Men rabbuk wa kayfa ta'buduhu. Who is your Lord and how do you worship Him? This is the only thing a person needs to focus on. This is the purpose of your creation, to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Like, and you don't know how to do that without ilm, without knowledge. So why not invest in your life, and your children's lives, and your wife's life, and your life? And yani, take a chance, save up money, put a plan, put your tawakkul on Allah wa ta'ala and go. Whether you don't have to do two years, like I said, either if you said, Khalas, we're going for three months, we're just going for six months, or if you have bigger himma, if you have more aspirations, then you can say, oh, we were, we're going to go as a family. Just imagine how beautiful that would be. A family, subhanAllah. Yani, maybe a husband, a wife, and two children. They go overseas, they're studying together. They're striving together, worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala together. And then they come back and they're speaking the Arabic language to, their, to themselves within their home. And previous to this, they didn't know anything. Imagine that. They, yani, they go to Walmart and he says to his children, yani, you know, and he's speaking, to, he's speaking to his children in Arabic language. No more American people. We're not talking about Arab. You can be like this, but you have to invest in your deen. You have to invest in your akhirah. You have to invest your time and your money. You have to get away from this ashat dunyawi, these worldly things that in reality, they don't bring any benefit to you. They don't really bring happiness to you. Rather, they bring stress and anxiety to you. I was just speaking to a person the other day and I said, why don't you go overseas? They said, yeah, I, mean, I have a car payment. I have this, I have that. Okay, give your car back. You, you can get another job. You know, you can, you have to take a chance. You have to take a chance. You have to put your tawakku on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you want this. This is why the Salaf of Salah, this is why the ulama, this is why these people in the past, they would give up everything for knowledge. They would sell the roof of their house for knowledge. A man from the Salaf, from the pious predecessors, he said, my son died. He said, my son, Mata, he died. And I did not go to his janazah. I did not even go to his janazah because I'm so busy seeking knowledge. Allah mustan. And perhaps that's a, a bit of an extreme example. However, we're just trying to make a point, a shahid, about how important this knowledge is. Indeed, knowledge will raise up the person. Umar ibn Khattab, radiallahu anhu, he left the Muslims when he was the Khalifa at one point. And when he arrived to the location he was going to, it was said to him, Ya Amir al Mu'minin, who did you leave behind to take care of the Muslims? And he mentioned a name. And they said, Who, and they said, who is that? And he said, Indeed, he is a slave from our slaves. They said, You left a slave as a ruler over the Muslimin? He said, Wallahi, he is the most knowledgeable of the people. When it comes to the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Wallahi, knowledge, yarfa'uka, it raises you. If you are a person with no status, if you're a person with no meaning, alayka bi talib ilm, upon you is to seek beneficial knowledge, and Wallahi, your life will increase. You will be raised up. Maybe not in the dunya, like in Wallahi, you will be raised up in the akhirah. If you did it with a sincere intention. If you did it, with a sincere attention. However, iyakum, be aware. Alim la yu'tika ba'tu hatta tu'tihi kullak. Knowledge does not give you any of it. Hatta tu'tihi kullak. Until you give all of yourself to it. That's what I'm saying. We must invest. Khalas, save up some money. Go overseas and study the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Set goals. We're gonna, you know what? I can't go overseas for two years, but I can go overseas for a year. I can go overseas for six months. Khalas, make a goal. I want to memorize this much Quran. I want I can do this many yani mustawiyat, this many levels in the markaz, and I'm gonna go. 
this, this ashya dunyawiyah, these things of the dunya, they're going to be here when I get back. Yani, Allahu alam, yani, the dunya isn't really going anywhere. However, knowledge, it will be taken away. Yani, knowledge will be taken away by the death of the scholars. So we need to what? We need to be a person that possesses knowledge so that when the death of the ulama, it happens, and it is happening, we ask Allah and Ya Fadahum Jami'an that He preserves all of them. At least we have Jews, min ajzat. We have a portion of knowledge. At least we know the Arabic language so that we can teach it to our children. We can teach the Quran and to our neighbors and our relatives and to our family. Yani, and we can be we can assist our community. This is why we need beneficial knowledge. And of course, there's much more that we can say. However, the time is brief, as it is Alhamdulillah Yumu Juma. And we are getting and we are preparing to go sit yani, uh, in the Surah al Juma and benefit from the khutbah. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He gives us ikhlas and talib al-ilm and that He allows us to benefit and that He teaches us about Him subhanahu wa ta'ala. إنه على كل شيء قدير والله أعلم وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين والحمد لله رب العالمين وكنز لا تخاف عليه للصن خفيف الحمل يوجد حيث كنت يزيد بكثرة الإنفاق منه وينقص إن به كفا شددتا